Iran continues to violate this Council's sanctions, both as a nuclear and conventional weapons proliferator. The Iranians themselves say as much. Earlier this month, the head of Iran's atomic energy organization announced Iran's intention to increase its capacity to produce 20% enriched uranium at Qom. This directly contravenes six Security Council resolutions requiring Iran to suspend enrichment immediately. At our last meeting to discuss a 90-day report, we raised the interdiction of Iranian rockets sent to the Taliban in Afghanistan, another clear violation of Security Council resolutions. We remain gravely concerned that the Iranian government is directly engaged in providing arms to the insurgency in Afghanistan. The panel's final report must be quickly disseminated to all UN member states, as is standard practice for UN expert panels. This report, which the Council has not yet released publicly, highlights information and best practices that can help states carry out their obligations. It needs to be shared. Making these reports publicly available shows important transparency. It also underscores that we're serious about implementing the sanctions we have imposed on Iran. Крайне важно, чтобы деятельность экспертов строилась на беспристрастной и независимой основе, с использованием ими только надежных источников и достоверной информации при подготовке заключений и рекомендаций. Les violations par l'Iran de l'embargo sur les armes, qui représentent l'essentiel des cas de violations notifiés au comité. Ce sont d'ailleurs trois nouvelles affaires qui ont été portées à notre attention depuis notre dernière réunion en mars. Ces transferts d'armes constituent une menace pour notre sécurité à tous. Nous sommes particulièrement préoccupés à cet égard par le rôle actif de la Syrie dans ces transferts illicites d'armes. 